When I grow up, I want to be a lardo on workman's comp, just like Dad. I wash myself with a rag on a stick. <laughs> Ew, Mom! So, we meet again, Mad Magazine. How do you know it's for Mad? The year was 1968. We were on recon in a steaming Mekong Delta. An overheated private removed his flak jacket, revealing a t-shirt with an iron-on sporting the Mad slogan, up with miniskirts. Well, we all had a good laugh, even though I didn't quite understand it. But our momentary lapse of concentration allowed Charlie to get the drop on us. I spent the next three years in a POW camp, forced to subsist on a thin stew made of fish, vegetables, prawns, coconut milk, and four kinds of rice. I came close to madness trying to find it here in the States, but they just can't get the spices right. Uh, my punishment? Hmm? Oh, I'm going to have to think about that. Meanwhile, wear this home. Turn tape over. Hey, where's Holba? How'd he get out of this? Hey, everybody! Up here! Simpson, stop frolicking and get to work. Right away, Mr. Smithers. I'll just walk across these slippery rough. Ah! Oh, no! He's going over the falls! Oh, good! He snagged that tree branch. Oh, no! The branch broke off! Oh, good! He can grab onto them pointy rocks. Oh, no! Them rocks broke his arms and legs! Oh, good! Those helpful beavers are swimming out to save him. Oh, no! They're biting him and stealing his pants! Good Lord! He'll be sucked into the turbine! <gasps> oh. Smithers, who was that corpse? Homer Simpson, sir. <laughs> One of the finest. Bravest man ever to grace Sector 17. <laughs> I'll cross him off the list. <laughs> that dummy worked like a charm, Dad. Best 600 bucks I ever spent. Come on, boy. We've earned this Saturday. Now let's make the most of it. <laughs> 61, 62, 63. Look at them sideburns. He looks like a girl. Now, Johnny Unitas, there's a haircut you could set your watch to. Oh, let me help you, George Washington. I still want to help you. I want to help you, George Washington. <sighs> Even your dreams are square. Newhouse has Boomstorm. This is great. And all I've done is enter my name. Thrill House. Get rid of this Ayatollah t-shirt. Khomeini died years ago. But Marge, it works on any Ayatollah. Ayatollah Nakhbada, Ayatollah Zahedi. Even as we speak, Ayatollah Rasmara and his cadre of fanatics are consolidating their power. I don't care who's consolidating their power. Say, that Ayatollah thinks he's better than America. Is he right? No! Yes? No. I need some more ether. I can still feel the movement of the emery board. We're fresh out, sir. I'll get some more. Leave the rag. Mm. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Burns. <gasps> Poppin' fresh, you glutinous little doughboy. <laughs> There's something I've wanted to do to you for years. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Mr. Burns, uh... I oh, you was wondering if you'd like to sponsor my bowling team for $500. Oh, why, certainly, Poppin' Fresh. I, I owe my robust physique to your tubes of triple-bleached goo. Woohoo! Hey, everybody! If you want to ask Burns for a favor, now's the time! He's doped up or dying or something! Uh, excuse me, I'd like to request $17 for a push broom rebristling. Why, it's that delightful TV leprechaun. I'm going to get you a lucky charms. Oh no, my brains. Put out an APB on a useless RD woe. Uh, better start with Greek Town. That's Homer J. Simpson, Chief. You're reading it upside down. Uh, cancel that APB. 
But, uh, oh, bring back some of them, uh, gyros. Uh, Chief, you're talking into your wallet. The dream police, they live inside of my bed. The dream police, they come to me and my head. The dream police, they're going to arrest me now. Oh, no! Oh, howdy, neighbor! May I spray you with the horse in a playful fashion? Eh, uh, spray the boy. <laughs> May I offer my condolences on the untimely passing of your great aunt Hortense? As her only living heirs, you stand to inherit her entire estate. <laughs> Poor Aunt Hortense. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> Woo -hoo. The only stipulation is that you spend one night in a haunted house. Mm, isn't that somewhat unusual? No, it's a standard clause. Well, luckily, there's no such thing as ghosts. <laughs> No such thing as ghosts. <laughs> Best night's sleep I ever had. Their tap water tasted better than ours. Here you go. One hundred dollars each. The rest goes to Ann Landers, as was stipulated in your aunt's will. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have continued talking after you left the office. I do that sometimes. <laughs> oh, my. Next in our cavalcade of celebrity mourners, Bob Newhart. Um, <clears throat> see, uh, to, to tell you the truth, I'm, um, I was just, I'm just killing uh, time here. I'm, I was waiting for a, a well, a, a different different funeral to start. I'll handle it. Bob Newhart, everybody! Oh, um, <clears throat> well, though, you know, though I, I, I started my career several years before uh, Krusty, so, you know, I could never really learn anything directly from him. Uh, still, I, I think in a way, in a very, very meaningful way that, uh, that I, that, uh, all of us have um, have learned from him. You know, you know that is by by being a, a con on television for 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 so many years. Even even though you know many of us we we didn't we didn't want to show. <laughs> then, uh, thank you. I've been waiting twenty five years for this moment. I'm sorry, sir. I must have taped over that. Freeze. FBI, the jig is up. All right, I admit it. I am the Lindbergh baby. Wah, wah, goo goo. I missed my fly fly, da da. Are you trying to stall us, or are you just senile? A little from column A, a little from column B. Began a monster! It's a horrible fiend! It's some sort of land cow! Stand back, fellow settlers! You've saved our fledgling community. Mr. Springfield, how can I hope to achieve such greatness? A noble spirit embiggens the smallest man. Yes! Springfield! Oh, way to go, Springfield! Embiggens? Hmm. I never heard that word before I moved to Springfield. I don't know why. It's a perfectly cromulent word. Yoo-hoo! Who is it? It's your sons, George Bush Jr. and Jeb Bush. Come outside, Dad. Oh, good. Bar. The boys are out in the front yard. They'll help me think of a plan to get those Simpsons. Oh, George, is that all you ever think about? The boys probably just want a letter of recommendation. Boys, where are you going? Okay, son, give them the glue. Look at George.
And that's why I will continue to oppose teen alcoholism in all its forms. Now, are there any questions? Keeping in mind that I already explained about my hair. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. President Bush is driving on our lawn. He must be lost. 